You know, the good news about uh, skipping over that is we have more time to talk about uh, COVID in our toilet system. Uh, yeah, apologies to those who haven't had breakfast yet. We are hopeful, of course, that the pandemic is nearing its end, but state health officials are concerned or they're already working to stay ahead of it going forward. Yeah, they're doing it by looking at what we leave behind. There is a new program that's going to monitor wastewater from plants in every county of the state and, of course, look for signs of coronavirus. So we are joined by one of the leaders in this study. She is Professor Rachel Poretsky from UIC. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks. I'll steal a line from Anita. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> um, uh, you know, we, <laughs> she the, says, <laughs> it, it's it's really I think it's fascinating. I, I really do. I, I, I have this odd fascination with what happens to wastewater when we're done with it. Um, but apparently you can glean a lot from it. Why is it so important that we look at it when we're talking about something as serious as a pandemic? Well, it's um, it's a, a composite sample. It's the ultimate composite sample, right? Everybody poops. So everybody contributes to a wastewater sample. You don't have to target individuals, um, do clinical testing on just those who come in for testing. Um, it really is representative of everybody who contributes to a local um, wastewater treatment plant. Well, how, so tell us a little bit about how this is going to work. How does it work for, for, for you, for us? Yeah, so um, what we, we know since the start of this pandemic that um, everybody who, who um, has COVID-19 will shed um, viral, the, the uh, signal of the virus in their feces. Um, and that could happen with people who are asymptomatic, people who are pre-symptomatic. Um, everybody uh, sheds some of the virus or some of the viral RNA. So what we do is we sample the wastewater and we track whether there's a rise in the number of um, signatures of the virus in the wastewater. And then we can know whether there's a rise in cases in the overall community. And by knowing that we can uh, deploy more testing, vaccination, um, implement mitigations like closing schools or take all the, the necessary precautions, knowing that this is happening before it shows up in uh, clinical cases. I've, we got less than a minute left, Rachel, real quick. So I'm envisioning you goggles, gloves, the gown and everything. But just generally <laughs> speaking, are there any dangers when we have a pandemic with wastewater with regard to the further spread of COVID? No, so actually it doesn't, we, we now know there's been a lot of research that it, it's not actually transmissible from wastewater. Um, and we don't even know if it's um, whole virus that's in the wastewater. It's, it's really just the signature of the virus that's passing through people. Um, so it's just a signal of COVID-19 in the community. And what's cool about the wastewater monitoring is that we see trends in the wastewater up to a week or so before we see the trends um, um, in the test data or in hospitalizations or anything. So it's really an advanced notification. You just used a phrase I never thought I'd hear aloud. What's cool about wastewater? <laughs> uh, Rachel, <laughs> Professor Rachel Poretsky from UIC, thanks so much for all your hard work to keep all of us safe. Appreciate it. Thank you.